Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown from August 17th to August 25th, 2017. Gore's new release, The Inconvenient Truth Number 2, absolutely flopped at the box office. And you might want to ask yourself why. Well, the temperatures are lower now than when he won the Nobel Prize. It's snowing in July in Wyoming. Winter temperature records being broken across Australia. Britain cold is starting 35 years to the holiday season. Cancelled sailing trek to the North Pole due to solid pack ice. And the first time in 38 years, Denmark, no summer days. Maybe this would explain why. And because yesterday's video was non-advertiser friendly because of a movie review and reporting the weather mixed together, this video is advertiser friendly. Off the Weather Network, a real news station showing August snow in Canada, extremely rare below 60 degrees north. New peer-reviewed scientific study talking about CO2 really doesn't have any effect on the atmosphere. It turned out to be water vapor. And the Sydney Morning Herald, global warming changing the tilt of the Earth's spin axis because of water moving around, yet somehow they forget there's change of seasons every year where our Earth moves. What about our 11,000 year cycle? What about our 25,000 year cycle of axis tilt on the planet? You have heard of the Santa Ana winds before. For creating emotional state changes in humans, higher levels of violence, hormone changes with serotonin. But did you know these winds are also in other places across the planet? This entire list is well of affecting winds on human behavior. Now let's talk about cosmic rays for a moment. That 19% is on top of what has increased over this solar cycle as well. These are energetic particles and they also have mood disorders associated with them. What seems like insanity going across this planet right now could definitely be linked to this. Although at the same time, there's great leaps in human evolution of terms of art, technology, state of consciousness at this exact same time. Welcome to the new grand solar minimum. Mysterious looking cloud, not a fireball, but a cloud over Brazil. Dozens of images of this coming around. Also exceptionally large waves on the Chilean coastline up to five meters, but at the same time in the eastern part around Brazil and Uruguay, the ocean receded up to four meters. They were trying to blame it on strong winds for a period of 60 days or more. And they also came up with the explanation of a Mateo tsunami because of these Fohen type of winds. And when it's unexplainable, there always has to be an explanation. Disease and water bogging. Stripe rust seemed to be the name of the day across the United States. Let's take a look. Maine blueberry crop disease and lack of pollination. Soils in Illinois cooler and drier in mid-August. Wait, I thought it was supposed to be a heat wave to end all heat waves across the U.S. And we do have a final test case here in California during the extremely wet springtime so you can see exactly what's going to happen as we enter into each successive spring going forward leaf rust disease water logging and decreased crop yield <laughs> 